Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Azure Migrate to create an assessment of your on-prem virtual machines before you migrate them to Azure Stack. Uh, this will not only help you uh, to create the Azure Stack sizing, it will also help you to find out if the virtual machines are compatible with Azure Stack and which are the right sizes for them. So here we are on our local Hyper-V server. Again, we could have large environments with multiple Hyper-V clusters or VMware clusters, um, but in our demo, we just have this single Hyper-V server. And what we want to do is we want to use Azure Migrate to basically do two main things. We can use Azure Migrate to do an assessment of our virtual machines, and we can also use it to migrate virtual machines to Azure. Now, in our case, we want to use Azure Migrate and the, particularly the assessment part to find out if our virtual machines can run on Azure Stack, which sizes um, are recommended for those virtual machines. And this also then helps us obviously do the sizing of the Azure Stack itself if we don't have an Azure Stack yet. So let's have a look uh, in this Azure Migrate part. And what we're going to do first is we create an Azure Migrate uh, project in the Azure portal. So here we are in the Azure portal. Let's create a new Azure Migrate project. So you can see here the multiple things we can do, but for us really it's discovery and assessment of servers. So let's create that new project. Um, let's create a new resource group for that. We call that Azure Stack Migration RG. And then we give the project a name. Let's call it Azure Stack Assessment. And then we should select the location where the metadata for the assessment is stored. Again, no migration, no migration of data here, just really metadata. We're going to select the tool which you want to use for the assessment. So there's a free one called Azure Migrate Server. And then we're going to skip the migration tool because we are only interested in the assessment tool. So for that, let's create that project with the, with the assessment tool there. This will take a couple of seconds um, to create that migration project. So when the migration project is created, we can then start with the discovery process. And we can select again if we want to discover virtual machines on Hyper-V or VMware, in our case, it's going to be on um, Hyper-V. So let's download the Azure Migrate Appliance. This is a virtual machine with, which basically collects the data from the on-prem virtualization environment. Now here we have the Azure Migrate Appliance. So let's import that uh, on our Hyper-V server. And select the right virtual machine here. Import it. It's an existing virtual machine. We can then select the virtual switch we want to connect the virtual machine to. And then we import that. After that, we start up the Azure Migrate Appliance. Again, this will take basically a couple of seconds to get this appliance ready. And after the virtual machine is ready, it will get a DHCP IP address, which we then can use um, to basically connect to that VM. If there is no DHCP, you can also manually assign an IP address. So if you go to the portal of that virtual machine, we accept the licensing term. It will do a check on internet connectivity. Uh, we can also set up a proxy configuration if we are behind um, a, a firewall or something where we need a proxy um, as well. And then it checks if time is in sync with, with, the in, uh, with, with internet time servers. And then it will check if we have the latest version of Azure Migrate. And if not, it will install the updates for it. Then we move to the next step and register our Azure Migrate appliance to our Azure Migrate project running in Azure. For that, we, log in, we are logging into Azure. 
And this will then give us a selection of our subscriptions. So we select the right subscription where we created the project. We select the specific micro, uh, migrate project and give the na uh, an, uh, appliance a name. I keep it simple here, but obviously if you run multiples of those for some reason, you want to have a better naming strategy as well. So after the server is registered or the appliance is registered to Azure, uh, we're going to add the Hyper-V hosts and clusters. First of all, we enter the credentials, which have enough permission to basically do the discovery on these hosts. So in my case, a local domain user, and then um, give that a friendly name. So I remember what account that was. The next thing we do is we add a Hyper our Hyper-V host. Again, this can be multiple hosts or clusters, um, but in our case, it's just that single Hyper-V host. So let's enter that one and let's validate. And this will now check if the account has enough permissions, if, if we can connect from the appliance. I can also do a revalidate. And you can see here, it already saw that it's eight virtual machines running on that host. So let's start a discovery for that. And this basically will now start collecting data from the host and the virtual machines running on it. How long are we run that um, uh, assessment, uh, the more performance data we get and the more history data we get. And that allows Azure Migrate to even create better assessments and um, more, more accurate assessments as well. So if you go to the Azure portal, you can see here that the discovery is in progress. Um, again, this will now basically upload those metadata information uh, from the discovery uh, into Azure. So after the initial discovery is done, um, we can go back to the Azure portal and you can see here it discovered uh, our eight servers. And we can now have a look at these servers. So you can hear the list of servers. You can also see that I could install an agent inside that virtual machine, which would then help us to find out about dependencies of different virtual machines. So I could see if I have multiple multi-tier applications, I could see that as well. Next thing, we could create a group or create directly an assessment. We're gonna do that um, here. So let's give that assessment a name. Let's call it VMs to Azure Stack. Uh, we can then create a new group of VMs. So if you have multiple VMs, which you want to migrate, um, you can group them. Uh, in my case, I just do like one group with all the VMs I want to migrate because it's a very small environment. So let's select all the VMs here, except for the Azure Migrate Appliance, that one I don't want to migrate. And then we can create that assessment. Now this again, it will take a couple of seconds um, to create that assessment to basically get the data out and, and, and give us that assessment information. After the assessment is created, you can see here, we can go back to the uh, Azure Migrate home screen. So here we are back in the home screen. So you can see here now we have one group and one new assessment, uh, which we can have a look at. Again, you can do multiple assessments um, over and over again, if you want to. And you can here see our assessment that it is ready. Seven virtual machines were assessed. And you can also see the confidence rating. Again, since we only had a couple of minutes uh, of metadata, um, the confidence score is very low. It would get be higher if you run it low for a longer time. Here we get an overview and we can see here uh, the Azure readiness of our virtual machines. So you can see here my seven virtual machines, there is a, they're ready, but they have a, a couple of conditions. You can also see different sizes here. And if we go to the cost details, you can see here uh, all the virtual machines and different sizes. Again, the more data we have, uh, the, probably the sizes change. Uh, because we can also identify underutilized VMs and basically recommend smaller sizes for these virtual machines. So this is now great. For Azure Stack, I could now, if I don't have an Azure Stack right now, I could use the Azure Stack Capacity Planner to basically check how much capacity does my Azure Stack need, which I will buy. So in that case, I get an Excel spreadsheet, which then um, I can enter the information of how many virtual machines I have, 
and then it will do basically show me if the SKUs of Azure Stack basically have enough capacity for me. So I can change that here and you can see here on the right size um, if the SKUs of those sizes are actually working or not and if I need more CPU, if I need more memory or if I need more disk space. So this is fantastic. So again, Azure Migrate uh, together with Azure Stack Migrations helps me to do two things. First of all, it lets me identify the virtual machines which I can uh, migrate to Azure, Azure or Azure Stack if they're compatible um, with these environments. And they will also give me an indication of how many virtual machines from which um, size I need um, to help me to do the capacity planning. 